Hey guys, it's MC Fixit here. We are gonna go ahead and make a sweet disc die and I'm gonna walk you through all the tools and the supplies on how you do this. Uh, we are gonna be using a uh, white disc to make this thing really pop. So let's go ahead and jump into it. White disc is really important. Uh, you're gonna want whatever design. You're gonna go ahead and cut that out on a Cricut. I did put a little crosshair on this on my Cricut as well. You're, uh, and so this is an Oracle 5160. You are gonna wanna transfer paper as well. Plenty of paper towels. And then this is just a uh, 3D print that I made. You can find it on Thingsverse uh, to help put the disc on there. It's actually meant for spin dies, but works really well for this. And so uh, I'm using an electric burner. Um, and so that's gonna give you all the black. And so this was pretty inexpensive on Amazon. And there's a link in the description. Uh, I already talked about transfer paper. Uh, we're gonna be using some red for the tongue. And so this is Pro Kim and Dye. It is a quarter of a teaspoon in here. Um, it's about a three to four ounce jar. I don't have an actual measurement, just some cheap uh, Dollar Tree uh, lotion works really well. Uh, acetone to remove the original stamp. Don dish soap and water to help clean the disc. I do use a little butane torch. Um, to kind of get all the air bubbles out and to also heat the uh, dye on the disc when you are doing the lotion dye. Uh, since we are using uh, a hotbed, I like to use I dye poly black um, and I use half of the little packet in here, fill it up with warm water. I went ahead and did that because I just got done with another dye. So my pan is on here. Um, I use a heat gun and I use it number one on the heat gun. It is very warm. You may want scissors to go ahead and cut your packet. Uh, sometimes you have to do editing on the stencil. And so I always have an X-Acto knife nearby in case that is the issue. Pence, or a pick and a uh, scraper tool is really helpful. Also, a lot of times I use a Sharpie. I always have a ruler around just in case I need it for anything. But let's go ahead and jump in. Let's go ahead and clean off this uh, original stamp here. And so you were going to be using acetone and kind of setting up our workstation, getting everything kind of pushed back out of the way so we can uh, go ahead and make this die happen relatively quick. I'm going to go ahead and this acetone is almost empty. You can see it's just a nice little chunk there and there is a lot of stamp on here. So we are going to want to go kind of quick to get as much of this off as possible. Yeah, that's looking much better. You can still see there's just a hair of hue to it, but that's probably gonna stay on there. We'll go ahead and start weeding this. So everything we want to be black, we're gonna go ahead and pull. So I am gonna kind of press in a little bit on the faces and you can tell this is just, it's like a pin that comes with the Cricut. And that is what I used. Um, I didn't use anything special. So anything you want to be black is what we're gonna go ahead and pull now. That one is a pretty easy weed job, not a whole lot to it. So we'll go ahead. Another thing I'm probably going to do, this is sometimes just to help me out. I will uh, put some kind of marking on this to just let me know where the, uh, the edges of that are. So go ahead and pull that. because I do like a very centered disc and I do push it off to the side. I'm sorry it's a bad camera angle right now, but it just helps me get nice and lined up all the way around. And then I go ahead and take my scraper tool and scrape it. I'm not caring about getting all of the air bubbles out. I'm caring about getting the transfer paper to stick and pull everything up from the backing. So we'll go ahead and grab this. We'll go ahead and put the disc on. And then go ahead and start working this up. As you're pulling this, I do it at about a 45 degree angle. And if it doesn't pull something up, you can go from a different angle or take your scraper tool and keep scraping it. The tongue is not wanting to come up. So again, you just scrape it a little bit. Sometimes come at it at a little different angle. 
tongue's still not wanting to come up. Sometimes you have to flip it over and do it on the back. You just gotta kind of figure out what works. I've used this transfer paper probably, I'd say six times now. So we wanna make sure all the teeth come up, all the eyes, oh, that middle tooth or second to last tooth is not coming up. And it will kind of re-stick back on itself, so just be careful with that. Go ahead and dispose of that properly. Uh, then we will go ahead and start lining this up. And if there is a part on your disc, I think I'm gonna do it the other direction. Because this will be naturally black on this disc. Taking that right there, so we'll just go ahead and press that down and in. I could have taken the back chunk of that off too, but I did not. So this is going to kind of just be temporarily on the back side because I am going to end up pulling it. So you don't have to worry too much about this because we do have that ring around it and that will naturally go ahead and just kind of pull it off. So gonna go ahead and flip it over and get some air bubbles out, helping secure that down nice and tight. And then we'll go ahead and begin to pull it. And normally it sticks pretty well. like so uh, then you'll go ahead and take this and put it back down on here we'll go ahead and get that out of the way and so this piece will actually just kind of naturally come off this back side you may have to get it a little bit started but uh, because of that cut on there or we'll really get it started And that'll give us a black rim around the side of it too, which is something I like to do a lot of times. Now we're gonna spend some hot quality, intentional time getting every one of these big air bubbles out. Um, I'm not worried if it's in what I would call the middle of the disc. It's just when it's right along the edge. So none of this stuff really matters. And really none of that does because it's not close enough. And in fact, sometimes I just push it away. It's when it's right next to the edge is what matters. So. If it's right next to the edge, like that air bubble does not matter, but if it was right next to the edge, it would. And I also use the heat gun a lot, so I'll probably do that here in just a second or two. I just wanted to get some of those initial bigger air bubbles to where I wanted them to go. Just put it on number one and heat it up. We'll probably do that at least once or twice more. A lot of times I do like to just go ahead and take my glove off. It does allow me to uh, be able to press down a little firmer than with gloves on. And really it's just about the, the edge lines all the way around it. If those look good, you're gonna have a pretty solid disc die. If those are not good, you're gonna struggle. That's just what I've learned over time. 
So just be careful. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on over here. It goes to two and a half and uh, you don't want it to boil. You just want it to start smoking and that's all you need it to. If it does start boiling, go ahead and take it off the heat and let it sit for a good quality time and then redo the process. Uh, I have boiled a disc before and it turned out and ruined that disc completely. So uh, learn from me, don't let it boil. So kind of keep an eye on that multitask here for a few seconds. A lot of times you will think you're done with uh, doing this, and then you'll find new air bubbles. And so, again, this could be one of the longest, tedious parts of actually dyeing the disc. We are just putting it in the hotbed for 10 minutes, so that's not a super long time. And you can go do other things, maybe even weed another stencil or something like that in the meantime. but go ahead and ensure you have it exactly how you want that thing to be. All the way around. I like really can't stress enough how important it is to get all of those air bubbles out. You're probably just like, you're just ranting. Well, I am because I've had issues and I don't want you to have the same issues and ruin potentially good disc. I like how that looks now. We're just gonna go ahead and wait a few seconds to let that thing go ahead and warm up. So that's gone ahead and heated up all the way. So we'll go ahead and turn that off. It is just barely smoking, which is what we want. You do wanna make sure you have enough liquid in here as well. And so I'm even gonna just take a butane torch, pop any of those air bubbles on the top. That just helps make sure you get the best quality dye possible. When we do this, we're gonna go ahead and set this in at an angle. Um, you do wanna do it very slow so you don't get any splashes up over the rim. And then just slightly release it, just like so. Go and let that sit for 10 minutes and we'll be back. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and lift it up. Let it drain a little bit. And then go ahead and wipe it. And you can see there was an air bubble, but the good thing is, oh no. It's not a good thing. No, it is, it's on that side. We're good. I was nervous it was on the wrong side. Um, I do like to go ahead and spray this real quick and uh, go ahead and wipe it off. That just helps any of it to kind of stop continuing. I also wipe the back of the disc as well. So I think that looks good right there. Anything on your hands, you can go ahead and wipe off as well. We're gonna go ahead and peel this now. Um, we're gonna go ahead and weed, but actually I'm wrong. We need to do the tongue first, um, uh, then we will go ahead and weed, because remember that tongue needs to be bright red. And one thing I have noticed about this red, uh, I like it a lot, but it does take a lot for it to actually become red, a long time, I should say. Um, it's not a quick fix. Um, with these lotion dyes. So sometimes it takes two or three hours. It's pretty easy to do. All I'm doing is just go ahead and put a good blob, excuse me, put a big blob on there. And go ahead and take your butane torch and just hit it up. And it seems silly, 
but that actually does a lot of good for it. Um, I did get a little bit of too much on it. So I am gonna wipe it back just to make sure it does what it's supposed to and then kind of fill back just like that. I'm gonna go set this outside for about two hours. Um, it might be more like two and a half because I have some other things I have to do today, but uh, at least two hours this thing needs to sit out in the sun. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and wipe off the red for the tongue. And I think that worked pretty good. It does kind of look pink, but I do think it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it one more time just to make sure we don't get anything else anywhere. Uh, then we're gonna go ahead and start weeding. And I'll probably fast forward this just cause it's gonna take me a while. So we'll go ahead and spray this off. This thing turned out amazing. Has really good defined lines. The tongue looks good. The whole thing looks pretty awesome. I probably am gonna have to take it inside and scrub it down with a scrubber pad because I did leave this on there for quite a while. Um, it was just about two, maybe two and a half hours for the tongue. So I really like how this thing turned out. It looks super sweet. I am gonna have to scrub it because it's still pretty tacky and sticky here. Uh, but overall that turned out really sweet. And you can still see some of the Emac Truth uh, original stamp kind of on there. Uh, so you definitely still know what it is. It's also written on the back. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment if you've not done so yet. Thank you guys again. Have a good day.